All right, so hi, today we're gonna to be taking a look at switch case statements. All right, so I'm in J shell right now, because it's an easy way to do this. A switch case statement is um, a replacement or an alternative to if else. So let's say that I've got a variable. I'm gonna call my uh, my variable my var like that. And we're gonna say it'll be an integer and do like this, my var is equal to five. It's been passed into a method. It's this value right here. Now I'm gonna take a look at what my var is going to do in terms of a choice. Let's say that my var represents a month in the calendar. So I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go switch. I'm gonna switch based on the value of my var. And then I'm going to do like this. I'm go case. So the first month is this. I'm put a little colon like that. And I'm going to say uh, system.out.out print line it's January like that and then I put the keyword break right afterwards I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do this 12 more or sorry 11 more times this okay and then we're going to say this is February Okay, so now I have 12 options. And so if you enter there, it'll tell me that based on the variable my var that has a value of five, the case right here for when my var is equal to five will happen, okay? And this break right here says that basically once we're done with the statements that precede it, then you don't have to look at anything else in the list. Okay, so we've got the 12 case switch case statement. And now what we would need to do is we need to add in a default condition. So I'm gonna go back up here and I'm going to go break like that. And I'm gonna say default. And in the default case, I'm gonna go system.out.print line. error wrong value like that and I don't believe I need a break I close that right there okay so now I'm going to change my my var to negative one so in the legal month because that doesn't work I do the default condition version of the switch case statement and I'll show you that there's a wrong value now there's another thing that I can do in here and I can throw uh, an exception. So what I can do is I can go like this, like this, I remove that curly brace, I hit enter, then I go throw new illegal exception. No, nope, not illegal exception, it's illegal argument exception, like that. And I found that in the book right here, the O'Reilly book on Java. So think of like this. Um, wrong. That. Close the curly brace like that. And so we get both what I did with the system.out.print line, but also an exception has been thrown as well. Okay, and it shows what line that occurred on. So you can see that the switch case statement allows you to have a finite number of uh, cases in which you do something very specific. And then you have a default condition in which you can um, capture anything else that is outside of those definite uh, cases. This is an interesting alternative to if and else where you can have sort of a, a more variable bands of, of values, kind of your inequalities. Here you really have to say, you know, it's this value or that value or that value, very distinct categories of values, okay? There you go, switch case statements.